today I would like to share with you all few passages and I would like to take this from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Remember now your creator in the days of your youth before the difficult days come and the years grow near when you say, I have no pleasure in them. This book Ecclesiastes is said to be written by King Solomon the wisest, the richest, and the most influential king in Israel. We know that Solomon is the wisest and the most rich king in Israel. But then, he has all his limitations again. He, he wants to find happiness, but apart from God's presence, his life is empty. So he has written this book. So now, as a children, when you want, as a youth, when you want to have the fullness of life, when you want to make merry, when you want to enjoy life in your own, but remember that apart from God, your life will be empty. Apart from God's presence, your life will be empty. Just as King Solomon had stated. And then I would like to read one Bible portion from 1 Corinthians 15, 33. Do not be deceived. Bad company ruins mor morals. Now children, if you are to be deceived, your life is going to be empty. You should not be cheated by others. You should not cheat yourself or so. Bad company ruins good morals. If you have a bad company, then your life will be in danger. So you will go out from home, you will go out from this house and mingle with different types of people. But then you have to keep in mind that bad company will ruin your life. And it is not only the people, bad company does not mean only the people who are with you or the friends who are with you. But it is the books that you read, it is the mobile that you see. So whatever it is in your hand, if you are with your mobile and have bad company with your mobile, then it's going to spoil your life. So it clearly states here in the verse that do not be deceived. Bad company ruins good morals. So you have to be very, very diligent in whatever you do. Now, I would like to read here one small portion again from, from Romans chapter 8. Verse 6, for to set the mind on the flesh is that, but to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. So if you set your mind on the flesh, that means on your own merry man, for your own enjoyment, then your life is going to be a dead person. Because even if you are alive, your, your spirit, you are spiritual is dead. So you have to set your mind on spirit, on the life of of living a life of good example, setting a life, exemplary life, then your life will be in peace. So, my dear children, now I'll come back once again to you. Remember your creator in the days of your youth before the difficult days come. So, if you want to face a very enjoyable, a peaceful life, and if you want to avoid difficult situations, you have to remember your creator. You cannot go away from your God who is your guidance, who is going to uphold you in every difficult situation. With this, then we wind up. Thank you.